Dairy farmers nationwide have always cared about America's health. Today, America's dairy farmers support a program called Fuel Up to Play 60. Through this program, dairy farmers are helping your school to set a foundation for lifelong healthy habits. have some fun today. There are 76,000 people at Invesco Field on Denver Broncos game days. You're going to have to get louder than that. Let's try this again. Are you ready to have some fun today? Oh, that's more like it. My name is Lauren Gardner and I work for the Denver Broncos. And in 2007 and 2008, I was a cheerleader for the Denver Broncos. And I'm excited to be your host for this program today. And needless to say, I'm a huge fan of the Broncos. I'm also a fan of staying healthy and being active. So I'm here with Miles to tell you about a program we call Fuel Up to Play 60, a guide to making healthy food choices and getting in at least 60 minutes of physical activity a day. Fuel Up to Play 60 also encourages you to get involved and make healthy changes happen throughout your whole school. It all starts with you. What if you can make a difference in how healthy your school is? You can, now and in the future, for you, your friends, and the entire student body. Check out fueluptoplay60.com for more information on how you can get involved. Now I know what you're thinking. If it's called Fuel Up to Play 60 with Miles, why am I here? Well, Miles doesn't talk and it's kind of hard for him to tell you all about the great benefits of fueling up and being active without some help. So I told him I'd be glad to help out, but I'd have to call into each location using a video phone. So that's why you see me up on the screen here today. But before we get this program started, let me take this opportunity to say thanks to our friends at Western Dairy Association. They're the ones who've made it possible for us to come out here today. Western Dairy Association is a nutrition and health resource organization. So thanks, Western Dairy Association. Now on with the show. So you all know who Miles is, right? <laughs> yep, he's the official mascot of the Denver Broncos football team. How many of you have seen him in action at games or out in the community? Well, I just happen to have a video of Miles in action. Would you like to see it? Me too. I just can't get enough of Miles. So here we go. my favorite NFL mascot. Isn't he the best? Are you ready to get him out here? Okay, when Miles runs onto the field on game days, he's used to a stadium filled with screaming fans. So let's make a lot of noise for Miles. Come on out, Miles. Wow, you sure know how to make an entrance. How are you doing today? That's great. Who, me? I'm doing great, thanks for asking. Are you as excited as I am to teach these students about how they can fuel up right and get moving more? Cool, well since the program today is titled 
fuel up to play 60 with Miles, I thought we'd start off by talking about what it means to fuel up right. It is so important to fuel up right every day. <coughs> Miles, is that your phone ringing? <coughs> well, I guess you better answer it then. Miles, are you there? Oh, there you are. What's going on? That's cool. I hope not cramping your style. I was just finishing my workout and I overheard someone say that you're teaching students about eating right and being active. So I thought I'd call in and help you out because I definitely know how important it is to fuel your body with the right foods if you want to perform well. Do you mind if I talk to the students for a minute? Great. What's up everybody? How's everyone doing today? That's terrific. Well, my name is Eric Decker and I'm a wide receiver on the Denver Broncos football team. Before we talk about filling our bodies with the right foods, I want you to get to know me a little bit. I think the easiest way to show you is a short video of me at work. So here we go. That is going to be a Denver touchdown. That is Eric Decker. Woo. As you can see, I'm very active in my job. If I didn't fuel up with the right foods and give my body what it needs to be healthy, I wouldn't be able to do all the things you just saw me doing. But you know what? Filling up with the right foods isn't only important for football players. It's important for everyone. Me, you, your teachers, and even my friend Miles here. And you know what? Filling up with the right foods is pretty simple. Filling up right includes eating foods from all five food groups, including dairy, fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and protein-rich foods, such as lean meats, eggs, and nuts. These food groups should be eaten every day at every meal. Eating breakfast, lunch, and dinner is also important. Try not to skip meals. It's difficult to get all your nutrients your body needs for growth if you skip meals. Raise your hand if you ate breakfast today. That's great. Eating a healthy breakfast every single day is so important. Breakfast fuels your body and gives you the energy you need throughout the day so you can be active and do well in school. Miles, I can see you. You can put your hand down now. Hey, what do you have for breakfast? Miles, where'd you go? Can you guys see Miles? Oh, there you are. You ate cardboard pictures of breakfast food? Okay, you're just showing what you had, I get it. Yum. You had a bowl of whole grain cereal with some ice cold milk, a banana, and a hard boiled egg. Miles, that was a very healthy breakfast. Now I know how you get all the energy you have. Good job, Miles. That was a smart way to start the day. You know, Miles, there's a great song about breakfast called Start Smart. Can I play it? Hey, everyone. Who wants to hear the song? Great. While the song is playing, I'm going to put the words to the song up on the screen. So let's all stand up, sing along, and dance with Miles. This is the most important meal of the day. Unfortunately, a lot of children are skipping it. But the bottom line is that students who eat breakfast feel better, act better, and perform better in school. Start smart. So if you want to get an A on that next test, if you want to do well in the next game, if you want to have a more positive attitude and get higher grades, then we've got two words for you. Start smart. After a good night's sleep, refuel. Start smart. I know you're hungry, so eat your breakfast in the morning. Start smart. I know you're hungry, so eat your breakfast in the morning. Start smart. I know you're hungry, so eat your breakfast in the morning. Oh, breakfast is way cool, so eat it at school. Start smart. I know you're hungry, so eat your breakfast in the morning. Start smart. 
to a balanced diet. So if you don't have time at home in the morning, why not eat breakfast at school? Whether it's milk, juice, whole grain cereal, bagels, muffins, yogurt, apples, bananas, eggs. These are some of the good foods offered at breakfast at your school. But whatever you do, eat something. Start smart and then hungry. So eat your breakfast in the morning. Start smart and then hungry. So eat your breakfast in the morning. Cool. I just love that song. Do y'all enjoy it? Now remember, eat breakfast every day. And if you don't have time to eat it at home, eat it at school. Well, Miles, I hope I was able to help out. Decker, get over here! But I need to get back to practice. See ya! Wow! How cool is that? You know if a football player is eating breakfast every day, it must be a good idea. He's so active that he needs all the energy he can get. I'm really glad he called in. You know, Miles, he made some pretty good points, too. He was definitely right about one thing. Fueling up with breakfast every single day is one of the most important things you can do to help stay healthy and perform better at school and at play. So, we've talked about breakfast. Let's talk a little bit more about fueling up with the right foods. What we put in our bodies is very important because if... <sighs> is that your phone again, Miles? Well, I guess you might as well go ahead and answer this call, too. Hey, Miles, it's Bob. Word is spreading that you're teaching students about the importance of healthy eating and physical activity. Do you mind if I talk to them for a few minutes? Great. Hi everyone, my name is Bob Sibahar, and I'm a registered dietitian, which means I teach people how to choose the right foods so they can live a healthy and active life. As you just heard, we need to treat our bodies right. It's not like we've got a spare lying around somewhere. This is the only one we have, so we need to make smart decisions when it comes to eating and staying active. Developing healthy habits when you're young provides so many benefits. You'll feel good about yourself, have more energy, and do better in school. Fueling up the right way means eating balanced meals. To build a healthy meal, make half of your plate vegetables and fruits. Then add some lean protein, include whole grains, and don't forget the dairy. While all five food groups are important, I suggest you focus on eating more of the four. These four food groups are dairy foods, fruits, vegetables, and whole grains. Most kids don't get enough of these four food groups, and that means they're missing out on important nutrient-rich foods to fuel their bodies. I have a couple of easy points that will help you remember to eat more of the four. Miles. Do you think you could bring out the posters you have to help me review these food groups? Great. Okay, first, it's important to vary your veggies. Color your plate with all kinds of great tasting veggies. Go dark green with broccoli or spinach, or try orange veggies such as carrots and sweet potatoes. Choose purple vegetables such as eggplant, or try my favorites, tomatoes and peppers. Vegetables help you see in the dark and are important for a healthy body and mind. Try to eat different kinds of veggies each day. Second, focus on fruits. Fruit is nature's treat, sweet and delicious. Shake up your taste buds with a variety of choices. Eat them at meals and snack time too. 
Try to eat different colored fruits, such as oranges, cantaloupe, strawberries, grapes, or blueberries, and choose whole fruits most of the time. Fruits help heal cuts and provide important vitamins and minerals. Hey, Miles, what's your favorite fruit? Strawberries are your favorite? I like strawberries too. Third, eat grains and make sure half of your grains are whole. Grains come from plants such as wheat, corn, and oats. They are used to make foods such as breads, cereals, tortillas, pizza crusts, and muffins. Try whole wheat bread instead of white bread or brown rice instead of white rice. Whole grains provide energy, plus they are good for your heart and have fiber, which helps digestion. And fourth, do it the dairy way. That's three daily servings of dairy. Milk, cheese, and yogurt help you build strong bones and teeth. How many servings do you get? Try to eat at least three servings of dairy foods each day. Most kids are not eating enough dairy, so adding just one more serving each day can help fill some nutrient gaps. Oh, what's that, Miles? Miles says one of his favorite songs is about dairy foods. It's called Three Times a Day, and he wants to know if he can play it for you. Would you like to hear that song? Great! Miles is going to need two helpers for this song. Raise your hand if you want to help Miles. Okay, during the song, Miles will point to you. And you'll need to hold up your poster which says three times a day. And then Miles will point to you. You'll hold up your poster which says that's what I need. Everyone, when Miles points at a poster, sing along. Okay, Miles, let's play three times a day. Ah, uh, yeah. Milk does a body good for your bones. Your body needs nutrition to keep your body growing, keep your body flowing. And flat out, yo, keep your body going. And milk's been there since 4K BC with the calcium and added vitamin D. And that's real good for your bones and so much more than you know, yo. Well, if you want to grow, you've got to nourish your bones. You can definitely fit it into your diet. Don't deny it. Why not one, two, three, try it? Because quite a few of y'all are coming up short. According to a USDA report, a report that had me thinking that there's something you're not drinking. I get one with my morning cereal, or I might go fruit and yogurt, yo. And I like to splurge on non-fat ice cream, pineapples, and cottage cheese. One slice of Swiss with that turkey One sandwich, slice. please. Plus a side of those dark green leafy things. You, you check the facts. It's a good way to go. Great song, Miles. 
I want to thank you for teaching these students about healthy eating. I hope I was helpful. Well, I better get back to work. Before I go, don't forget to eat more of the four. Dairy, fruits, vegetables, and whole grains. See ya. Thanks, Miles. Look at you, Mr. Popular. Your friends are so helpful. That's so cool that a Denver Broncos football player has called in and even a registered dietitian was here to talk to us. The best part is they've given us some great information. Okay. So far, we've talked about fueling up right. We reminded just how important it is to refuel with breakfast every day. And we just learned the benefits of eating more dairy foods, fruits, vegetables, and whole grains. I guess the only thing we have left to cover is... I wonder which one of your friends is calling now, Miles. Well, you better hurry up and answer. Find out who it is. Hey, Miles, how's it going? Good, we're glad to hear that. Well, we just passed some of the players in the stadium and they told us what you were up to. So we just had to call in because we have some information that we think is so important. Is it okay if we interrupt what you're doing and talk to the students for a minute or two? Miles, we get to talk to you all the time. We want to talk to them about how important it is to get at least 60 minutes of physical activity every day. We can hang out when you get back, okay? So can we talk to these guys? Awesome. Thanks. Hey everyone, are you guys having a good time with Miles? That's great! My name is Jess, and this is Nikki, and we're Denver Broncos cheerleaders. Here's a little video that shows a bit of what we do on game day. Denver Broncos cheerleaders! As you can see, we are very active on game day. When we heard that Miles was teaching you about fueling up right and moving more, we just had to call in. We would like to take a few minutes to talk to you about why it's so important to get moving every day. You see, moving more helps to keep your body healthy. Staying active may give you more energy, it may help you feel less anxious, and may make it easier to concentrate and learn. Plus, making physical activity a habit early on gives you a better chance of a healthy adulthood. That's pretty cool, huh? You know, everyone needs to get moving more. It should be a part of all of our daily activities. When we move our bodies, we improve the overall strength and condition of our muscles and joints. That's right, Jess. But you know what the great part is? Moving doesn't have to be hard. We just need to be active each day. You could play sports, run, go for a walk with your friends. The important part is to be active and have fun while you're doing it. So, how many minutes do you think we all need to be active each day? Yes, that's right! 60 minutes each day. What's that, Miles? Oh, good idea, Miles. He has a friend he would like to call that would be great for this. He's Coach Zuff, and he's at the NFL Rush Studios. Coach Zuff can take us through a mini workout and better explain how each of us can easily get 60 minutes of activity each day. When Coach Zuff takes us through our mini workout, let's be sure to stay in our area and not run into each other. Are you ready? Okay, let's all stand up. All right, let's go. This is football. Howdy ho there, NFL rushers. This is Coach Zuff coming to you live from the NFL Rush Studios. All right, everybody, here's the deal. 
We're gonna start the day off with 60 seconds of exercise, all right? So let's get to it. <laughs> See, it's all part of the NFL Rush Play 60 Challenge. So come on, everybody, 60 seconds of exercise. Let's get up and just get up. I'm serious. No, don't give me that look, I mean it. Come on, I'm not asking you to do a marathon here. It's just 60 seconds, so get up off that chair and Get up off that bed, step away from that desk, and let's hit it. All right, you ready? Here we go. In three, two, go. All right. Just run around. What have you got to do? Run around the room. Jump over your dog. Jump over your cat. Run around a little bit. Pick up a ball. Throw it. Don't jump on the bed, though. You might fall off. Just run around. It's all right. Just find a clean spot on the floor. I got a nice circle here. I can just move, 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 Oh, stepped on the camera. Sorry about that. All right, guys. It's almost over. Here we go. Five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, you can stop. Woo! 60 seconds of exercise. Oh, that wasn't so bad, was it? All right. Now. Oh, yeah. yeah. Don't forget to hydrate. Oh, my mouth's kind of sticky. Oh, here's some water. This is football. Phew, that was good. I'm out of breath. Thank you for participating. You can all sit down now. Now we all need to make sure we are active like that for 60 minutes each day. Miles, I know all those crazy stunts and running around you do at games requires you to be in great shape. Do you get 60 minutes of physical activity each day? That's what I thought. What kind of activities do you do to help you get 60 minutes of activity a day? Okay, running, jumping jacks, walking, dancing, and cheering. Those are some great ways to get up and play for an hour a day. Do you do these every day? Hey everyone, that gives me an idea. Would you like to do a quick cheer? Great! Hey Miles! Will you help with the cheer? Perfect. OK, when I hold up my sign, this side of the room says go. And when Jess holds up her sign, that side of the room says Broncos. So are you ready? On the count of three. One, two, three. Go. Broncos. Broncos. Go. Broncos. Come on, louder than that. Go. Broncos, go! Broncos, go! Broncos, go! Broncos! That was great! Your school has a lot of spirit. Can you promise us that you will get at least 60 minutes of physical activity a day? Awesome! We know you'll do a great job. Just remember to find something you enjoy and have fun. Miles, thanks so much for letting us talk to the students for a few minutes. I hope we were able to help you out. Well, we better run so we can get a little rehearsal time. See you when we get back, Miles. See ya. Bye. You continue to surprise me, Miles. Not only do you have a Denver Broncos football player calling in, a registered dietitian, some of my fellow cheerleaders, but also Coach Zuff, I'm definitely impressed. And the really cool part about it was they had so much good information to pass on. They were correct, too. Fueling up with the right foods and moving more do play a major role in how you perform in school and whether you're energetic and healthy. Well, everyone, the folks that called in today have pretty much covered everything I wanted to talk to you about today. So why don't we do a little review over everything we've learned? What do you think about that, Miles? Miles, where'd you go? Miles, you know I can't see you when you go behind the screen. Miles, is that scribbling that I hear? Miles, you know we still have to finish the program. Miles, we still have to do our reveal. Miles. Oh, there you are. Okay, okay, I see what you're doing. That's actually a very nice review guide that you've made. 
<laughs> You're welcome. Well, why don't you go ahead and hold it up for them while I go over it? Okay, let's get started. There are four key messages we reviewed today and that we want you to remember. First, we want to remind you to get involved in Fuel to Play 60. Check out fueltoplay60.com and learn more about how you can get involved and make your school an even better place. Second, refuel with breakfast every day. Third, get more of the four, which are dairy foods, fruits, vegetables, and whole grains. And fourth, get 60 minutes of physical activity every day. Phew, we've gone through a lot of great information today, Miles. So I guess our job is finished here. It's time to wrap it up. I had so much fun. How about you, Miles? And how about you? Great. Well, we've got to run. Make sure to keep an eye out for your Fuel to Play 60 with Miles magazine that you'll be getting within the next few days. And we'd like to thank our sponsor again for having us here today, Western Dairy Association. Let's all give them a hand. Miles, I'm sure you have a lot of other places to visit, so you better get going. So let's all wave bye to Miles. All right, have fun the rest of the day, and thanks again for having us here today. And don't forget, fuel up to play 60. Bye.